my name is Brittany. This is the second video in our series about our reflections as first year students at Warburg Seminary. Here's the second question. I mean, something that's been hard has been the pandemic. I'm thinking that now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, to move to Dubuque and then to still be like an online learner um, for me, at least like, yeah, I was with some residential students yesterday and we were talking about how next year when we have our classes in person, there's gonna be like two sets of first year students because all of us first years this year are gonna have no idea like where to go or what to do because this is like a whole different world, I feel like than it will be next year and a whole different world than anything I've ever done before. Yeah, definitely not what you signed up for when you were gonna be a residential student. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a distance learner student. So I knew coming in that this is what I wanted to do. This is how I wanted to do my seminary experience because it allowed for some flexibility with, with my own life that was needed. Um, and so I really appreciate that Wartburg's program has been, it was already established going into this, right? Like what a gift that is. I know of other students where that's been really challenging to like make that switch um, when schools aren't prepared to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I think when I think of like what's been challenging for me this year is uh, shifting my expectations. <laughs> I think I like came in, I don't know if you guys felt this way. I don't know why I felt this way, but I did. Coming into like Wartburg or to just seminary, I was thinking that I would be surrounded by these like really so social justice oriented minds that would challenge me and like stretch me and educate me and um yeah that's not really been the case <laughs> at least in the majority of our student body i think um but i'm thankful that i've found people to have these conversations with like you folks and and others um but i think that was really challenging for me in that i was coming in thinking that i would just be this like sponge and soak it all up um but I've found that I have been challenged to uh, do more of the like maybe educating or sharing than I was initially expecting, which is not something that I've really had to do before. And so, and especially as like someone who does, who does not have all the answers by any means and who's still learning and, and growing. Um, so to have that of like, I'm there's still so much that I need to learn, but also like so much that I need to like speak up to. Um, that's been like a really challenge for me, a challenge challenge for me, and something that I'm proud of, kind of learning and practicing this year. Um, and I think a lot of that, honestly, truthfully, is because of you guys and um, having people to kind of practice that with and work on that with and brainstorm. Yeah, I think it's surprising how like people come into seminary at so many different points in their life. Um, because I feel like I had maybe similar expectations to Charlotte and I don't think it's necessarily a good or a bad thing. So to say like nobody's supposed to be at a certain point when they enter seminary. Um, I mean, I had no idea I was actually going to do seminary probably up until the pandemic. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of just like walking together because I mean yes we're all coming in from different points but we are all first year students together trying to figure out what any of this even means and um I think I'm proud of really yeah the four of us for stepping up and um kind of just making the best of it um there were definitely times when I was frustrated throughout the first year whether it was just like not feeling like I fit in or not getting the material. Um, and I think something that Workburg does well is community. Uh, and I have been thankful for the community that I've been able to find even when online as a distance learning student. Um, but yeah, it was challenging to be alone in my apartment, but I am thankful that I saw your faces on Zoom every single day in class. 
Yeah, I w- if I can add, like speaking about community, like I feel like because everyone was online, like I think that was a challenge too of like you really had to make your own community. Like you really had like, like Emily, like I think I emailed you like, hey, let's grab coffee over Zoom. And this was like maybe two weeks into this first semester. Like that's how we became friends is because like you gotta like put yourself out there, right? Like mm-hmm. that was a challenge that I think I don't know if first year students next year will like have that same challenge, but I just want to add that too to that like finding community piece in a pandemic is really hard. <laughs> and yeah, how I, I feel that uh, just quick, I like the flip side though too is something that I'm like thinking about next year is I'm hoping that I can continue to maintain the friendships and like the community that I've built outside of the residential community on campus because like with you all Emily like maybe you'll be here you will be here but um like I value the friendships and the relationships I've made with my distance learning classmates and I I'm like nervous about how those will work when classes are in person next year yeah Carl and I will still annoy you we won't let you forget us (laughs) (laughs) what were you gonna say Emily Yeah, I was actually going to speak to that same thing of knowing we're transitioning back to whatever this new normal looks like in the fall. Um, Just being really cognizant of the fact that it's hard to be, um, you know, a screen on a wall looking into a room where there are humans gathering together, um, which it sounds like I know Warburg is continuing to make changes and continuing to improve, but that sort of sounds like that's what a lot of the DL students um, experience was like before this. And so I guess I'm thinking on like, how do we build on this community that we've created in our first year class this last year, knowing we're going to have hopefully an in-person prologue week, which will be huge to like sort of, you know, jumpstart some of those connections um, in person finally, but how do we continue to keep fostering those connections and making sure that um, everyone's voices are heard in the way that they need to be, Um, because I think it'll be unfortunately a little easier to forget about the people on the screen for those of us who are in a classroom because they're not, you know, we're not all on a Zoom screen. That's a very different experience in terms of being able to see everyone. So that's something I'm thinking about of like, how can we, I don't know, uh, continue to be be good about that. Yeah. As you were talking, Emily, about like the shift next year, I was just thinking about how like, who am I gonna private chat during class? <laughs> I got you, Charlotte. <laughs> you and I on the screen will be private chatting, but like maybe you guys will have to hop on Zoom just for that, just so we could. <laughs> yeah, I have th- definitely thought that too. Of like, we can't talk about things going on in class during class when we're in person because you like you can't just whisper next to you. You know, it's much more subtle to just yeah. yeah. <laughs> Also, all the sassy comments that just even went on in like the community chat too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those were gold sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'd like to echo um, the challenges kind of that have already been said two things. Um, first, I completely agree with you, Charlotte, that ex- those expectations, like shifting those were, was really hard for me. Um, similarly to you of like I came from a community that was very different than this community and um, I disagreed a lot theologically with um, people in that community and I grew immensely from it but I was really excited to be with people that like believed the same things as me and then I got here and I feel like I got in like more theological debates with people than I did in undergrad which is great and like I have learned Um, and grown so much from that but at the same time it was just a shift of like okay I'm not actually going to agree with everyone that I meet at Wartburg Um, and that's a good thing Um, but shifting those expectations and then too like I thought that the classes would be like just like all my missional ministries classes in undergrad and they're far from it um, and kind of shifting that um, and knowing that that's a good thing too that they're I'm not just like taking the same classes um, over again And then Brittany, you like mentioned kind of more in passing, but like being alone as an introvert, I did not think that 
I would, it would be that hard for me to like live alone or spend this much time by myself. And normally I have to like go retreat to be an introvert. Whereas now I like have been really challenged to like go out and seek time with people. Um, and I've never had to do that before. Like I've always been one to be around people and then to have to step away um, to be re-energized. And now I I see myself being challenged and like having to go out and seek that community because I don't get it um, in the same ways when I'm alone in my residence hall room. Yeah, that was such a weird thing to realize. <laughs> yeah, I think another thing that I didn't expect to challenge me this year was just like, not a sense of call because that's always been there, but trying to figure out what shape that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, I sort of my impression of like seminary and candidacy was very much that I had to have everything figured out, which is definitely not the case. Um, thank goodness. Um, just that like there's something like calling and it's just this co like a come see, like let's figure this out together mm -hmm. sort of experience. So I've been really grateful for professors and classmates and candidacy folks who've been continuing to like walk with me through that. Um, but that's something I guess I wish I would have known like two years ago, um, that it's okay to to just come and see and uh, yeah, know that we'll figure things out as we go and that things um, will kind of just settle into place. I was told um, sometime last fall that vocation is like sedimentary rock, it just like layers up slowly, slowly, slowly over time. Mm. And that's an image that I've um, been really holding on to is to like, just wait and see how things um, build up and what direction they take. Um, in terms of being proud of things, we've touched on this a little bit, but in terms of community, getting to know people um, and getting to be in conversation with you all and other, other classmates, um, I had hoped for a community like this, um, but didn't know what it was going to look like online. And so um, it's already been echoed that Warburg is good at community, but um, the initiative that people took to sort of bring me into community and also the way that I was like, well, let's try to do a show and tell thing for our first year class, you know, the little things like that, that, um, I, you know, just ended up being super fun and super fulfilling in that capacity. Um, yeah, I guess I'm proud of our whole, our whole class to just step into this new challenge of what a seminary look like in a pandemic um, and just see, see how things go. Amen. <laughs>